Hi everyone, Angela here. In this video, I'll show you two ways to make draft stoppers. Links for all the tools I use can be found in the description below. You can use any type of sturdier fabric to make your stopper. Here I've just got some quilting cotton. First I'll use a large template to square off the bottom of the fabric. From there measure up and cut across so that it's 8 inches or 20 centimeters long. Measure the width of your door and to that add an inch or two for the length that you'll be making the stopper. I'll be making this one 30 inches long, so from the fold I'm measuring 15 inches and then adding another inch for seam allowance. And then mark the same on the bottom edge. Then cut away the excess. From the corners, make a mark 5 inches in on the top and bottom edges. Then on those marks, cut small notches through both layers. Then open up your fabric with right side up. If you want the option of hanging your stopper, you'll need two pieces of quarter inch ribbon or elastic, three and a half inches or nine centimeters long. Along the top edge, we'll attach the ribbons on those notches. Fold your ribbons or elastic in half with wrong sides together, place the ends on the notch, and then pin in place through all the layers. Fold your fabric in half lengthwise, matching up all the edges, and then pin or clip in place if you need to. Starting from this fold, use a 1 inch seam allowance, back tack and stitch along this short end. Stop half an inch before you get to the edge, have your needle down and pivot. You're now stitching these long edges together with a half inch seam allowance. For added strength, back tack over the ribbons and also at the end of your stitching. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. Gather up all your fabric like a sock and then just push a little bit of the end right side out. Use a knitting needle or something pointy to poke out the corners and then pull out the rest of the fabric. This next marking step is optional. Mark a line quarter of an inch or six millimeters from the open edge. Then mark another one three quarters of an inch or two centimeters from the first line. Then repeat on the other side. Separate your seam on the inside and press it open a bit with your fingers. Fold over the top edge on that first line and crease all around. Then fold over the second line and crease all around again. Next, edge stitch all around that inner fold, back tacking at the start and finish. I'm using half inch or 12 millimeter wide Velcro, also known as hook and loop tape. We need to cut pieces slightly narrower than the opening, about three and a quarter inches or 8.2 centimeters long. Separate the pieces and then position one piece just past the seam and slightly below the top edge. Edge stitch all around the Velcro piece, back tacking at the start and finish. Leave a little bit of space between the ends of the Velcro and stitch the second piece on. If you have a lot of scrap fabric, you can cut it all up into little crumbs for the stuffing. Or you could use rice or dried beans. To fill with polyester batting, flip the top edge over twice so that it doesn't stick to the Velcro. Use any kind of wide tube to help you push it all down. You can use stick-on removable hooks to attach it to your door. Because they're attached, it'll move with the door so you don't have to keep kicking it back in place or use the kind that goes under the door and shows on both sides. This takes less fabric and there's less sewing. For the second method, measure around the circumference of your pool noodle. This one measures nine and a quarter inches or 23 and a half centimeters. To make sure the cover isn't going to be too tight, I'm going to add quarter of an inch or six millimeters to that measurement, making it nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters. Then mark and cut to the correct length. The fabric needs to be cut one inch wider than the circumference and five inches longer than the noodle. I've just cut up a pillowcase. Mark six and a half inches or 16 and a half centimeters in from the corners. 
Because this fabric frays easily, I have also surged all around. Using the same length for the ribbons, fold and pin to those marks. Fold the fabric in half lengthwise with right sides together and then pin or clip in place if you need to. Use a half inch seam allowance to stitch this long seam closed. Back tack over the ribbons and at the start and finish. Press the seam open and turn it right side out. Insert the noodle and even out the ends of the cover. On each end, simply pleat and tuck the extra fabric into the center opening. Just make sure that it's nice and snug. So this is an inexpensive way to help you save on your energy bills. Keep the heat in during the winter and also the air conditioning in during the summer. You can also make these stoppers to fit your windows. Make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.